this is Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Monday Savers haul for you. Picked up a few things. Weather was kind of crummy. As you can tell, we got lots of snow. So, a little treacherous going out to the further store that's on the west side of Cleveland, but you know, I cannot be stopped. <laughs> so, let me show you what I got. Um, yes, I got a Vera Bradley purse. Funny story behind this. <laughs> It was $7.50. There was a lady who came, evidently came straight in and scooped all of them up and had them in her basket. And she was sitting by the purses looking through them. So when I went over there, she's like, uh, do you want this one? It was like a huge duffel bag, but it had a big stain in the bottom. And I said, eh, no, I don't really need anything that big. So she's like offering me all the stuff out of her cart. So she showed me this one, which I really like. I love the colors. And I was like, uh, sure, you given that to me to buy? And she's like, sure. <laughs> so not sure exactly why she was, whatever. So you never know. There's some individuals that are very unique <laughs> at some of the thrift stores. So that I got for uh, seven fifty. I have been taking uh, several of my um, Vera Bradley purses to my booth. And I've been selling them between $16 and $20. So I figure if this one is not fetching a good price on eBay, it will go to my antique booth. And what I always do for pictures and for display out at my uh, antique booth is I do fill it with uh, grocery bags so it, you know, puffs out. When it's looking this flat, it's kind of, you know, not very... Not very appealing to look at so definitely uh, fluff those up with some bags and I'm also thinking about doing a video about how to take uh, pictures of purses for your listings so definitely thinking about that uh, another item I got this was only uh, 350 a little metal stand very cute uh, these can fit easy in my booth and people do buy them up people love little tables whether wood, metal, or otherwise. I got this. Now I'm gonna, you know, it's funny, these were sold together. Very heavy glass. And then this. But I don't know if they necessarily were supposed to be together, but they were sold together. And that was, what, 350? You know, my math is not very good. Four, four dollars. So I guess these, these can go together. I don't know. Does it look like it goes together? <laughs> I don't know. I've been selling uh, frames really well in my booth. I just sold two this past week. So I saw two more, picked them up. This one's like a shiny silver tone from Marshalls. It's $4.99. Um, I think they were $2.99. So I only paid $1.50. And this one was also $1.50. And this one has like a basket weave on it. Very pretty. So anytime I can find uh, nicer frames, they do pretty well for me, but they can't just be regular wooden frames like you can get everywhere, including the dollar store. So I make sure that I can get these uh, that are a little bit different, a little bit nicer, and definitely new helps as well. Sorry about that, got my big fat thumb in the picture. Uh, this is a tea light holder, very pretty. It is like a stained glass. In there you can see the little cup and then this is where you uh, open it up to put the tea light in i'm going to have to adjust this so that it actually you know stays closed but that's easy fix and this one was two dollars i'm sorry if i'm getting you all seasick <laughs> i do try and stabilize my videos after they're when i first put them up i stabilize them so if you're one of the first people that sees my video on the first you know maybe 20 minutes it's up, I apologize, because I do put stabilization on there uh, when I put them up. Um, this actually was from my, uh, my antique mall. Uh, we have a lot of items that if vendors want to donate them to the store to be sold under a certain number, then that funds goes to the advertising committee. So this was on there. It is made in Japan, so it is an older piece. But it's kind of tired looking, so what I think I'm going to do, oh, it was $4 and then it was half price, so it was two. It's a heavy metal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably 
spray paint that like a flat white or a shiny white and then resell that in my booth. This is a really cool uh, idea and if you've ever needed this kind of product, you know they are not cheap. This one is like bamboo. It's called Artscape and try and get it where you can see it. It is window film. So if you have a window that you want some privacy, such as a bathroom or any other room, or you want to let the light in, but you don't want to have it be see-through, then this is the type of product you get. So um, also, if you have a view you don't particularly like, <laughs> so you don't want people to see in or you don't want to see out, <laughs> And uh, this is uh, a nice product. Um, this particular one was $3. I'm not sure what size it is. It's actually pretty easy to, to put up. You just clean the window or the mirror that you're going to put it on, uh, spray it, and it adheres. And then you use a squeegee type or, you know, what do you call them? Oh, uh, my brain just isn't going to work today. Any flat surface to, you know, squeeze out the bubbles and it looks really nice. Now, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to show you something where I've used a similar product. Now, we are renting a house and in the living room, all the way across is mirrors. <laughs> so instead of, you know, can't take them down since you're renting, I am using this it's like a rice paper i know it's probably not focusing really well for you but it looks like it has paper fiber in it and this was all applied by me um and it cost me probably 50 to 60 dollars when we first moved in to do this and it went up very easy and definitely it is a good thing to have um i just i've never had where I have a lot of mirrors in my house. So if you have mirrors, this is not only good for windows, but mirrors also. Okay, so let's get back to the hall. Okay, moving on. I got two little craft kits. These were both $1.50, one, oh, they're both, no, this one's a dog, and this one's a cat. My little tag along, and it is a kit and it has the like the printed cross stitch and the floss and fabric and then what you do is when you're done doing the stitching then you can sew it together so essentially the only thing it does not have is the stuffing so pretty cute um, these were pretty cheap and they are um, completely sealed and new so I figured that was a pretty easy thing to pick up I'll do a little bit of research, see what those are going for. And, uh, you know, when the kits are sealed, it's usually pretty good. But do your research. Some things definitely uh, sell better than others. Um, salt and pepper shaker looks like a fish. <laughs> this was in a little bag hanging up. It was 75 cents when it was half. And I've been selling uh, pretty good on my salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. It's one of those things that it seems to sit for a little bit. And then I'll sell three or four in, you know, a month. So, I don't know. It's one of those things that there are people out there that still collect these. And if you love salt and pepper shakers, I would recommend another YouTuber, The Carpet Bagger. He just, see, you can tell I'm doing laundry again. I do laundry every time I do videos. Can you tell? Anyway, The Carpet Bagger did a video recently where he was in, I think, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and toured a salt and pepper museum. I've never seen so many salt and pepper shakers in my life. But watching that, it was so funny because I could say, oh, I've sold that one and that one and that one. <laughs> so if you get a chance, check that out. It is very interesting. Also got this nautical, uh, I don't know what you call them, floaters or whatever. But it's very small. Isn't it beautiful? I love the color on it. And this was only $3. Um, yes, I did manage to find some fabric. I don't know. It's kind of feast of famine on fabric. And I usually never buy it unless it's half price because some pieces are small enough where it's like it just doesn't pay to get them. Uh, let's see here. So this one I got at the first stop. 
It was $1.50. There's probably close to two yards on there. Um, this one, let's see, was a dollar only. There's at least three yards on here. Isn't it pretty? It's got the different pink flowers. Um, there is a lot of this one. This one was also only a dollar fifty, and there is at least, I'd say, five or six yards of this. So real pretty sunflowers. So that was a good find. And this one's a little more subdued, kind of a tan with the purple flowers, and it was only a dollar. And on here, there's probably at least three or four yards on that one as well. So pretty good on the fabric this time. Um, you could definitely tell when people are clearing out a stash that's been put away for many years. You get a lot of the silky fabric and the polyester fabric, and I don't really buy that because it doesn't really sell. Um, any vintage fabric, I've told you before, definitely goes on eBay. These will all go in my booth. My fabric is one of my staple items that sells consistently for a lot of money. So I do very well if I get it for a very good price and I put it up for about $3 a yard. I've done a video on how I prep and uh, get fabric ready to sell and also show you how I price it. So please look for that video. Um, if you have a, a retail space that you're looking to do that, it is definitely a major bread and butter item in my booth. So that being said, I'm always looking for it. I seem to do better in the, in the uh, I don't know, in the, in the spring and in the summer at garage sales because some people will just have, fill a bag for this amount of money or have, you know, fabric pieces for 50 cents a piece, no matter how much is there. So that is a time I definitely garbage up on my fabric. So that is all I got for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and when you do subscribe, a little bell will show up. If you click on that, then you will see uh, that you can uh, find out when my videos are posted. And if you'd rather not do that, if you follow me on Twitter under The Pudgy Picker, you will see when I put videos up, and I also will put up cutesy pictures and different interesting things that I come across in my travels. So I will see you next time. Uh, go out there and find some good stuff. Even if you got a lot of snow, there is good stuff to be had. You just got to get out there and look around. Plus, this is also a good time to get that stuff listed. Yep, get it listed. So I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.